This video is intended to help you install and set up an Infoblox VNIOS network discovery appliance to an existing Infoblox grid. The first step in this process is to add a new grid member to your existing grid. Go to Grid, Grid Manager Members, and click on the Add New Member button. You'll be presented with an Add New Member wizard. Make sure you set the member type to be Virtual NIAS. Assign a fully qualified domain name and assign the IP address, subnet mask, and gateway for your new network discovery appliance and save the new member configuration. We are installing the Infoblox VNIS ND800 appliance on a VMware server. When you downloaded your VNIS ND800 appliance, you should have downloaded two files, an OVF and a VMDK. You should place them in the same folder and select the OVF file to install the VNIS appliance. After the virtual appliance has been imported, you will need to power on your virtual appliance and open a console to complete the setup process. To log into your VNIS appliance, the login name is admin and the default password is infoblox, all lowercase. The first thing you need to do is set a temporary 60-day evaluation license. We will be applying two license keys for this setup. The first will be to license the VNIS appliance itself and the second will be to license grid and discovery. Run set network to configure the IP address you assigned to the new member in your grid. You also tell the appliance to join an existing grid. Please provide the IP address for your grid master as well as the name of your grid and the secret password for your grid. By default the grid is named Infoblox and the password is test. The new appliance will now join the grid. Log back in the NIOS GUI and configure discovery by opening the grid discovery properties and accept defaults. Then add SNMP credentials to be used for device data collection and save. Now we'll modify the discovery settings for the discovery member. Let's add a seed route to the discovery member. This gives the discovery process a place to start. Discovery will also use gateways configured in your DHCP options. Now start the discovery service. It can take a minute or so for the discovery process to start. Simply refresh the table until the service status is green. We have the discovery process running, but we have not enabled any networks for discovery, so let's do that now. For each network or network container, you can modify the inherited discovery settings and select which discovery appliance is responsible for discovering devices and collecting data from the devices in this network. As devices are discovered and data is collected, you will find this data in the Data Management Devices area of the GUI. For each device that is discovered with SNMP credentials, you are going to see interfaces, networks, and IP addresses collected from these devices. This information will also be associated with the IPM records as well.